Hello, today is exciting. We get to test out a product we saw at CES, the new Aorus gaming monitor, the AD27QD. Ah oh yeah, we get to test out the active noise cancellation feature. Let's do this. But first, let's talk about the monitor itself, the panel. In this day and age, brands have to have a good panel for the monitor. There's no excuse. And this is a solid monitor. Panel-wise, it's a 27 inch with thin bezels on the top and sides. It has an edge type LED backlit with a non-glare monitor. It looks really good and has even better viewing angles. It has one millisecond response time. Of course, it's 1440p with 144 hertz refresh rate. It has radium free sync to clear up stutter and tearing. So if you're sporting AMD GPU, that's an extra feature for you. Now for the color. We got HDR for better contrast, 95% DCI-P3 for more realistic colors, and we have 8-bit color depth with FCR, allowing for smoother color transitions. The design of the RGB and the scan is inspired by Falcon Wings for a Gigabyte logo friend. The RGB is LED and controlled with RGB Fusion 2.0. The monitor itself has an ergonomic design. Swivel, 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 pivot, 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 height, tilt, whatever you want. Position your monitor how you want to play. You'll be all G. We got a built-in power board, so there's no power block, USB charger with the USB 3.0 ports, and speaking of ports, they are very important for all the gamer-focused hardware this monitor has. We got a dedicated headphone and audio jack, two HDMI ports, display port, and USB 3.0 for easy access. The AD27QD is flicker-free and blue light reduction to prevent some eye strain. Some of the most important features for long gaming sessions. That covers the basics of the monitor, but as you know, that's not what makes it stand out. It is absolutely packed with features. It's built-in hardware to improve your gaming. Let's jump into some ANC and listen up. I saw this monitor in action at CES, and I've been dying to test it out myself. ANC is active noise cancelling hardware. It's to help your friends and teammates hear you more clearly regardless of how loud it is in your room. There's three mics on the front of the monitor that captures the room's sound and processes your voice. Doing so, it processes to remove and reduce the background noise from your chosen mic that's plugged into the monitor. Your friends will thank you. You need to make sure you install the Sidekick software of the Tactile Gaming Monitor, either with the provided CD or download it off the product page. Next, you need to make sure the USB 3.0 connector is plugged in your computer. Once we got that done, we need a mic. You must plug the mic into the mic jack on the back of the monitor. We have the Live Streamer 133 plugged into the monitors. Hey, also check out our video on it. It's really good and it was the last one we did. So to test it out, we have five settings. Low, lowest, medium, high, highest, in and around that order. So let's check it out. All right guys, now we're gonna check out the ANC feature of the all new Aura's gaming monitor. We got some background music going, we got some loud keyboards and some other things in the room to build that environment of noise. We have a secondary computer here to record a Discord call so you guys can hear me the whole time. So this is the environment without any ANC or any other mics. We got our backup mic up here recording me as our usual videos. So we're gonna take this for a spin and see how ANC works. So this is with the ANC off. As you can hear, we have a busy and noisy gaming environment. We're gonna pop it on in a second to the default setting of high. Gonna type my way over there. So this is the default setting of high. We're typing up a storm, writing our blog about games and technology, and we're listening to our favorite beats in the background while not interrupting any of our friends in our Discord call. Not bad. There we go. As you can hear, it does work to cut out the background noise and make the experience of being a teammate much better. Your teammates will be able to hear your client plays without the distracting noise of your music, your keyboards, and maybe your cat. Now a big note for y'all, how well the ANC works will depend on a few factors, what type of mic you're using, where it's placed, and how loudly and clearly you're talking. The ability to cut out the background noise will depend on the type. It may not work well trying to move the piercing screams from your cat demanding food. If you hear this feature and think, hey, that's me, I'm the loud teammate, I should get this monitor for ANC. It may take a Discord call with your friends to iron out the sounds and what you can get away with when gaming. Then you can keep your tunes pumping. That's music pumping. Let's take a closer look at the Sidekick dashboard. For absolute convenience, you can change your monitor settings with the mouse. No mispressing buttons and having to go through the entire menu again. 
Another benefit is being able to change your monitor settings quickly when you switch between games or some content creation where you need color accuracy. Remember, it's 95% DCI-P3. Are you in a situation that your favorite game lacks crosshairs, but the gameplay could benefit greatly from them? Well, you're in luck. This is where Tactile comes in. Use the default crosshairs or simply draw your own. This is all in the hardware of the monitor. No trackable software to him result in a ban from certain games. Shh, don't tell anyone. It won't appear in screen capture, so you won't out yourself on stream. Next is the tactile function. We have aim stabilizer. This helps smooth out the motion blur, so you have a clearer view on the target. And some of the coolest functions on the monitor is the overlays and hotkeys. We have Game Assist. This will show you how your computer's components are running at a glance. We've seen this feature before on the new Stream Deck update, GPU with their LCD screens, and even a cooler. It's even more conveniently placed now, right on your screen. You can monitor temperatures, usage of your computer, and make in-game settings on the fly to adjust the game that may be causing lag. We also got some nifty features with the game counter. You can toggle a timer every time someone uses an ultimate, and this kind of keeps you on your toes and your team for timing and strategy, or count to see how many kills you got, all for the sake of keeping track of your gaming. Speaking of overlays, we also have the PIP and PBP, picture in picture and picture beside picture. This allows you to have a separate display overlay on your main one if you have a separate system and need to monitor while gaming, or only have one monitor and want to watch this stream while you game. This is a good solution. Now, the most exciting part, hotkeys for your monitor. You can toggle all the features we talked about to a hotkey, so you do not have to open up the Sidekick software to make the changes. You can also assign hotkeys for your control button on the monitor. You can change the control brightness of the screen or toggle on the low blue light. Woo boy! That's a lot of features. The AD27QD tactile gaming monitor is packed full of useful features. And on top of that, we have a high quality panel and of course, RGB. You can find this tactile gaming monitor at Memory Express for $799.99. If you pick one up, tell the sales rep your friend Steve sent you. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. And everyone's favorite part of the movie. <laughs> the movie? Feature like Steve. And everyone's favorite part of the month, MEXP winners will be announced this Wednesday. Because it's a short month and uh, February confused me. The winner will get two Seagate 4TB NAS hard drives along with the winners will announce next month's prize on Wednesday. Thank you everyone for participating and congrats to the winners. Again, you're gonna find us on social media, Facebook and Twitter are the same, at Memory Express, and our official Memory Express Instagram is official Memory Express. Thank you very much for tuning in guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Ah, I did it. Wait, did it? No, we're st still going. <laughs> I'm stuck. I can't breathe.